welcome to episode 8 of Bob's Garage. Today we're tracking down a coolant leak. What's up everybody? Welcome back to episode 8 and uh, today we're going to talk about coolant leaks. So I've been having this problem for a week or two now where my car has been leaking some coolant. I can't find out exactly where. Ever since I got the Thor skid plate, it's been catching any leaks and uh, deflecting them off the, either the back or the sides of the Thor skid plate. So um, I've been add, having to add some G12 coolant to the car periodically, and it's starting to get a little expensive and annoying as hell. So I decided to tear into the car, try to get to the bottom of what's leaking, where it's leaking from, all that good stuff. So I started out by removing the front bumper. This is where I found out that the... Uh, headlight washers had been clamped off and uh, so this was uh, basically my first time disassembling the entire front end of the car so because it was my first time I'd noticed I was missing a lot of pieces and parts like the driver's side intercooler shroud and a bunch of different bolts and miscellaneous uh, bits like that so I took a bunch of photos like this just to show that the uh, um, how the car was set up before I removed stuff. So the uh, hood latch cable was zip tied on, probably so it didn't accidentally pop off. So here you can see the uh, reservoir is low, and I had to keep topping this off every uh, couple days or so. So once I opened it up and put it into service mode, I could see that it had been leaking down the front of the engine, just wasn't exactly sure where. So what I uh, proceeded to do then was fold the whole front end of the uh, radiator assembly down. And I could see further into the engine and lower down on the front of the block to figure out exactly where it was leaking. So what was interesting was uh, because this is a Tiptronic car, there's transmission lines that feed into the radiator. So I was unable to just completely remove the whole front uh, radiator assembly because of those lines connecting uh, to the radiator itself. Manual cars do not have this issue, but I was able to work around it by just basically folding the whole front radiator down onto a couple buckets. I did disconnect the AC condenser and swing it around to the side of the car, and uh, it worked for the time being. So I worked on it like this, in this uh, form here, and this gained me access to the entire front side of the engine. So from here, I was able to see that there was coolant leaking down over near where the dipstick tube was, as well as uh, uh, basically just above the balancer. And uh, yeah, so it it was uh, it was quite the process to get uh, the car disassembled to this part. This is the most uh, I had worked on the car second to the heater core job. So I followed a couple tutorials that I found on uh, YouTube to get the car apart and I was able to uh, get it taken apart. So I drained the coolant via the coolant temp sensor in the lower radiator hose and uh, that's caused quite a bit of a mess. And uh, But other than that, you know, I had the typical problems that you uh, normally see with the S4 B5s. Uh, I had oil in my charge pipes that reached all the way up into the throttle body boot and uh, um, I, was, I presume that my passenger side intercooler is full of oil too. So um, it was kind of a bear to work around it like this, but uh, I was able to see where it was leaking from. <laughs> 